Hello everyone, this is Dreadnought, and I am here on May 18th, Friday, just a few days after release, and I'm going to talk to you about stats, gear, and abilities. And this video is being brought to you because of our subscribers who have been asking about these specific things, and I'd like to thank our subscribers real quick for letting us know what it is you want to see from these videos because honestly I have no idea what everyone wants to know so it is very helpful to me to get those emails so before we dive into all these stats let's talk first about stat difference between Nephilim Valor runs and progression runs and Nephilim Valor runs is uh, when you hit level 60 every time you hit kill a uh, elite mob that's the yellows and the uh, blue champion mobs Every time you kill one of those, you're going to get a buff that lasts for 30 minutes that gives you a 15% magic find bonus, and that's going to stack up to 5 times, giving you a 75% magic find bonus, which is awesome for grinding the, the magic, um, the yellows and blues that you need. Um, so we're going to be talking about the Nephilim Valor stats. And when you're doing Nephilim Valor runs, and if you're not level 60, you just call them gear runs, you want to go down an act or down two acts in order to do these. The gear is not going to be quite as good, but the speed that you do them in and the amount of gear that you get is going to be far worth your time. So distinguish before you play, are you doing a gear run or are you doing progression? Progression is when you're trying to get to the next act, but if you get to a point in your progression where it's a long to get through the act, you're getting killed over and over again, or you're having to kite enemies around for a really long time before killing them, it's probably worth your time to drop down and do some gear runs because Diablo is very gear dependent. Leveling up is usually uh, a bonus because you can use higher level gear and not because you're getting new stat points or abilities to spend. So very gear dependent. Once acts get too hard, drop down one or two acts and do gear runs. And if you're level 60, do Nephilim Valor runs. So let's talk about the stats that we're going to use for the Nephilim Valor runs. And um, the real reason that we're doing these Nephilim Valor runs is to sell things on the auction house, which turns out to be the best way to get gear is buying things from the auction house. But I will talk about that in the next video because it is uh, a long subject and very important. So, first stats. All right, I'm just going to go through the stats. My stats right now aren't exactly where I want them from Nephilim Valor run, so I'll point out where I have deficiencies. So first is strength, primary attribute. Uh, and most people know that strength gives you 1% increased damage per point. That means there are diminishing returns. Your first point in strength is worth much more than your last point in strength. So once you get up to these higher numbers of 700, 800, strength becomes less and less efficient uh, to increasing, increasing your damage. So Focus on strength, but don't get carried away with it, because once it gets too high, it's not helping you out as much as it used to. Um, attacks per hit. This is based on your attack speed bonus and your weapon swing. And this attack speed is just huge and crucial for you. You look at my rings right now. They're not impressive rings. I get 12%, a little damage boost, 13%, a little bit of lifesteal. I had some yellow rings with you know, huge amounts of strength and other abilities on them, but... Right, I'll tell you that these, watch my damage right here, when I take off these rings, it's going to drop down to 7400, that's the huge bonus I'm getting just from those attack speeds. So if you don't have attack speed boost right now, then you need some. Sell any piece of gear to get some attack speed, because it's a huge multiplier for your damage. Crit hit and crit hit damage. Crit hit does not come as naturally on this game as it does from others, so go out of your way to find gear that has crit hit chance. Because every fifth swing on average, I'm doing an extra 145%. So if I'm doing 10,000 a swing on average before, now one in every five, I'm going to be doing 20, uh, 24,500. So crit hit, huge boost. Let's go down to... No, we're not going to look at defense right now. The You'll notice that my defense right is pretty low right now. And that's because in Nephilim Valor, you want to have lower defense, higher damage. So you take off your high defense, some of your high defense uh, pieces of gear, and you switch out to the, the damage. Normally this physical resistance should be a lot higher, but for 
I do my Nephilim Valor runs in Hell Act 1, and I don't really need the physical resistance for it. Max life, you'll see, is pretty low for level 60, and a lot of people stack way too much vitality. Don't get carried away with your vitality, because uh, your potions aren't healing you to full, and uh, health orbs normally aren't healing you to full, and so it's, it's usually not worth having a huge amount of vitality. You want to focus on damage reduction more. So, but you can't have so low health that you get one shot by things, obviously. So there needs to be a balance there, but normally I see people with too much vitality. Um, Lifesteal is a lot higher when I'm not in Nephilim Valor. Um, and health, globe, health globes actually are not that great when you're doing progression because you need to kill things usually before you get the orbs. But and when you're doing the Nephilim Valor runs, having this huge... See, this is healing me. Just the bonus is healing me half of my health. And so in Nephilim Valor runs, you're killing things so fast that globes are dropping fast and it can keep you going at a faster rate through the act if you have the health globe healing bonus. Uh, movement speed I wish was higher. Um, my boots are only giving me 8%. So if you can get a higher movement speed than that, it's, it's nice. Magic find also I have a deficiency in. Your main magic find is going to come from the topaz that you're putting in your helmet. Uh, you should have a ruby in your helmet until you're level 60, and once you hit 60, put that magic find in there. Unless you're doing progression, then you can put something else in, but once you're doing your Nephilim Valor, put in that magic find. And that'll go up a lot once you get the stacks of magic find. And those are the main points on the details. You want to do as much damage impossible as possible. And one thing I want to really emphasize right now is weapon damage, because... A lot of people are sacrificing weapon damage for other stats on weapons like strength and lifesteal. In your weapon, you just want to focus on damage. Don't worry about what other stats it has, because the damage is going to make the biggest difference in out of all of your gear, all of your abilities, everything. It's weapon damage. So I got this on the auction house for actually pretty cheap, 120000 if you don't have an awesome weapon, you should be saving your money and buying one because it makes all the difference. I'm going to show you real quick. This is a level 41 weapon, but level 50 weapons will have the same damage sometimes on them. There's 123 damage, which isn't horrible, but obviously not the best. So look at my damage real quick at 9300. I switch out for this two-hander here, 1800. So you can see th how big of a difference damage makes because of all of your multipliers going into just that one factor, damage is easily the most important. So sacrifice every other stat point on your, on your weapon to be able to get that damage. I got lucky to get that crit hit damage increase on there, but if it didn't have it, it wouldn't have mattered because I, just, I need those damage points. Um, I'm just going to go into my skills just for a second. Um, to show how I'm doing these Nephilim runs. I'm using Bash with Instigation to hurry and get my Fury up. I'm also using Unforgiving to keep my Fury up. Uh, Seismic Slam, Shattering Ground, which uh, is going to keep large groups of enemies away from me so I don't get surrounded. Leap with Iron Impact, which gives me 4 seconds of heavy damage before I start taking heavy damage. Ground Stomp is key because it brings everyone into me with a wrenching smash which is going to make my overpower and my seismic slams hitting everyone in the group because everyone is in a small little ball that I can hit together. Wrath of the Berserker, which I save for elite groups. And I distinguish save because a lot of people use this Wrath of the Berserker every time it comes off cooldown. It's not worth the time that you save in those easy pools to use Wrath of the Berserker. Be patient. Wait until you get to the champion or elite group before you hit Wrath of the Berserker. You're actually going to save yourself a lot of time. Weapon Master for the uh, damage increase. It's huge. It's just as good as the Glass Cannon Wizard ability, except you're not taking extra damage, which you, you do from using Glass Cannon. And Ruthless. Um, like I said before, crit hit is not easy to come by, and so a 5% chance and a 50% damage is just huge. And Ruthless is the one passive that I pretty much just use always. So, this isn't the only build. It's not even necessarily the best build for Nephilim runs. A lot of people like to use Sprint, which can be really effective from getting group to group. It just depends on how squishy you are and how fast you're moving through. But this is a good starting spot if 
um, when you're doing runs. If you use this and you get killed a lot, you're probably just one act too high. You can move back another act and do your Nephilim runs. It's okay if the gear you're getting is below your level because you're going to be selling it on the auction house to buy the exact gear that you want instead of just hoping that you find that random gear. Hopefully this has been helpful. I'm posting another video on auction house and more in depth on Nephilim and gear runs soon. Let me know what else you want to hear about and subscribe up top to get the next video on auction house and Nephilim runs.